right, uh, just continuing on, we had to switch cameras. Uh, so we're just gonna uh, continue on in the spirit, man. And so uh, I forget exactly what I was talking about, but uh, but that's okay. Oh, um, uh, righteousness, man. Yeah. You no, know, hey, we uh, uh scripture talk about them that thirst for righteousness, man. Yeah. And hey, we some thirsty motherfuckers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We thirsty, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, because the man, the whole world lied in wickedness, man. You know. Yeah. yeah. So well, like, what can the righteous man do? But well, what's it? Just lie. Uh, get that, bro. And, yeah, and, man. And, and that's the righteousness that we seek for is God's righteousness. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not our own righteousness, right? And so, uh, just real quick, in this uh, Romans 10 and uh, 2, it says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to right. knowledge. All right? The most high is knowledge, the wisdom from above. That's what we should be seeking for. All right? That's what we should be begging the most high for. Right? It says... Uh, for they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. And that is what we need, all right, for our salvation, all right? That is what we need to rule a kingdom for eternity, the righteousness of God and to perform that, all right? See, but right now what we have is the, 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 the righteousness uh, uh, where we have faith in the uh, uh, the will of the Father, we have faith in what He tells us to do. All right, we have faith in His plan. All right, and we prove that by our the way that we think, and then our application of what's right. All right, to the best of our ability, man, and walk in that walk, man. We, that's how we show our faith, man. Faith by producing uh, uh, the fruits of righteousness. Right? Faith without work is dead. Mm -hmm. You gotta do something, man. That's what we be getting on you damn Christians about, man. I, all I gotta do is believe in cheese and rice. <laughs> That's all I got to do. I can eat my swine, and it's on my mind. Yeah. I believe in I believe in Jesus, though. Yeah, right. Jesus. You know, you could be all kind of dochi. You, was a, you was a homosexual when you joined the church. Ten years later, you even gayer than the you gayer than the day you walked in. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. like women's now. I don't like men's no nah, more. Nah, man. Yeah. Nah, this is a real sacrifice, man. Scripture you said, present your body as a living sacrifice, man. That's it. Oh, uh, he said, uh, you know, talk about those chaste virgins, man. To be chaste means to be chastised, man. Chastised, that means you get whipped, whipped into shape, man. You know? Yeah. You're getting your ass beat, man. Yeah. You're getting, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting beat into shape, man. That's why Scripture says, break up your follow ground. Yeah, man. That's that uh, uh, cultivation. You know what I'm saying? This is our culture, which is life, righteousness, all right? And we're being cultivated into being those perfect, righteous judges and gods for the upcoming kingdom where we're going to rule in righteousness to where the people can rejoice, as it says in Proverbs 29 and 2, all right? When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So right now, we're learning that. We're going through the necessary experiences to be perfected as the righteous. Hey, your end goal has to be that. You know what I'm saying? If you have it on your mind, like if you have it in your heart to, to do anything else, man, the Lord's going to reveal. Oh, uh, Scripture says, uh, if anybody be uh, uh, otherwise minded, minded yeah. Yahweh shall reveal even this, man. So he's going to reveal, because that's the word. The word is, uh, it's the word of the Lord is quick, swift. Yeah, Sharper than any two-edged sword. The discerner of, of the heart, the heart and, the, uh, and, the, and, uh, and the spirit, man. Basically, it proves what you really are, what you really want. So, if you come in this with an ulterior motive, man, that's going to be revealed, man. Yep. All right. Because, but if your, but if your end goal is to be righteous, if you really want to seek righteousness and you really want to, uh, to please your how about Shimei Alshai, guess what? That's going to be revealed, man. Yeah. And you're going to get what you want. Yeah. Hey, because how do you, you know? glorify something you know what i'm saying by always speaking about it you know what i'm saying trying to emulate them you know what i'm saying yeah yeah because static in that uh matter of fact uh give me uh give me a uh, john 17 and 10. this is john chapter 17 and verse 10 it says and all mine are thine and thine are mine and I am glorified in them. You see? It says that uh, the, the Lord, Yahweh said that 
he, Yahweh is glorified in them. All right, in who? In the elect, starting off with the 144. He is glorified in them. How is he glorified? We speaking about it. All right? We, we, we walk in the walk. You know what I'm saying? Just like he did, to the best of our ability, because we're we're not Yahweh Shai, so we, we can't be him in perfect, all right? Because that's why he's the king. That's why he's the savior. All right? That's why he's the Lord of lords. You know what I'm saying? What you get? It's Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. See? That's a, because if you're doing emulating Yahweh Shai, then Yahweh Shai get glory. And if Yahweh Shai get glory, then Yahweh get glory. All right? And it, that, that's just the, 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 the order of it, man. All right? That's the thing. If people see our good works, they could be like, wow, where did they get that from? All right? That's why even when we had got the law, statutes, and commandments in our way, it was like in the sight of the nations that we were doing this to where the nations was like, wow, what a, what a wise and understanding people. All right? Now, of course, they reverted back to their nature. All right? But what they saw, they was impressed. It was like, wow. They couldn't do it because it wasn't given to them to do. All right? But you, they could still see like, sure, what? Wow, look at, look at how wise this people is. Look at how they conduct themselves. Look at how they live, all right? And so here it is right now. It's that same thing of producing those fruits of righteousness, man, so that ultimately all praises to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah because he came up with it, you know? Um, who else has something? Yeah. We'll, we'll go around. Going back to what the brother was talking about, the Christian church, they always go ahead and like just take little one things and then go ahead and take it and then just run with it. You know what I'm saying? Like but they don't read all the full passages. They need it to their own understanding. Right? right. Well, basically, they're not what the scripture saying is rightly dividing the word of truth. All right. Because you can go uh, here, the scriptures tell you to go here a little, there a little. All right. But the the the, the point is is to hey man show the picture. All right. Show the picture of. The under, give the true understanding and you only can give the true understanding by rightly dividing the word of truth you can only rightly divide the word of truth if it's, if that ability was given to you through the spirit man and it's the most high that dictates the spirit Come on. this is the book of Acts 21 this is the book of Acts 2 and 21 and it shall come to pass that whoever should call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, right? So these so-called the Christian churches say, hey, you know what? If you call on the name of Jesus, you'll be saved. Right. You know? Right. But they didn't read 22. And they said in the book, in, 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 in 22, it says, Ye men of Israel, mm -hmm. hear these words. Uh, Israel, as you said, uh, uh, Jew is a Jew inward. Okay? You gotta be Israelite within, man. Okay? Yeah, indeed, man. Uh, show you, uh, show you. Uh, I show you my faith by my works, man. You gotta, uh, and only ones who can serve at that altar are Israelites. But the, the scriptures talk about the Israel of God. It's a separation. Right. Not even all Israelites can come into this. Right. You know, they have to be the elect, man. Right. Why? Because they're they're the ones that are ordained to to be, to perform this work, man. Right. right. It says they are not all Israel, which are of oh, yeah. Israel. And like the brother was going into, and in which I also was hitting in a, a couple of lessons uh, uh, a couple of days ago, that he is not a Jew, which is one inward. He is not an Israelite, which is, I mean, outward. He is not a Jew, or he is not an Israelite, which is one outward. All right? But, which is one inward. Meaning that, hey, you rolling in the spirit, man. You being spiritual. All right? Now, sure, you know, you know, certain people who look a certain way or act a certain way or have these certain attributes, you know, whether it be physically, whether it be intellect, and we'd be like, yeah, that's Jake. See, but that's, we talking about on a carnal tip, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's our people. But truly, our people, all right, truly, see, because there's going to be a lot of Jake that has all them uh, attributes, you know, uh, 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 carnal attributes that is not going to be saved. 
because they wasn't the Israel of God and they wasn't rolling with the true power, which is the spirit. All right, it says the most high God, Yahweh, is a spirit. Therefore, you must worship him in spirit and in truth. And that's just rolling with his will, rolling with his way, rolling with his plan. All right, everything about uh, what the father said, all right, his, his, his word, his will, all right, we have to roll with that, man. All right, and lean not into our own understanding, not trust in our own strength, not trust in any strength of any man where at the top of that intellect is man. Nah, we want to roll where the top is, Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians, and this is 1 Corinthians 10. I'm going to start at 3. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? And did all drink the same spiritual drink? For they drank of that spirit rock that followed them. And the rock was Yahweh Shah. Right, we was all under the cloud, man. Pookie and Ray Ray was under the cloud. Kiki and Nisha was under the cloud. Okay. There was only certain men that was meant to keep that way, man. Go ahead. Go, keep but, reading. But with many of them, God was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness. And they, hey, they were cut off. And, and, and what's it, two-thirds shall be cut off and die, man. Or well, scriptures talk about those uh, figs that are so naughty that they cannot be eaten, man. You know what I mean? The Lord's going to discard them, man. They're they un, uh, they're un uh, cultivated. What says? Uh, uh, he talks about that. He said, uh, "What more could I have done to my garden? I pruned it. I did everything." He said, "Why for? Why did it bring forth wild grapes, man? <laughs> Those wild grapes is going to get fucking tossed to the fire." Bring that out real quick. Just wisdom of Solomon, chapter nine and verse six. But though a man be never so perfect among right. the children of men. Though a man be never so perfect, though he motherfucker Michael Jordan slam dunk it with his tongue out, okay? <laughs> motherfucker knock a nigga out in the first round in, in, the, in the first two seconds. Mike, Mike Tyson ass nigga, okay? Hussein Bolt ass nigga, all right? Luther Vandross singing ass nigga. Nice words. I'm saying, to break something down to you, oh shit, bro polite. This nigga was Over like the intersection of the extra section. Because if you come inside the extra section, that's when you look inside my Negro section. You like, oh, oh, oh damn, niggas, niggas back up and say, oh, it's my mind. <laughs> my, it's in my mind. Look at that nigga, man. The Lord gonna kill you. <laughs> the Lord still gonna kill you, man. Go ahead and read that again, man. This wisdom of Simon chapter nine and verse six. <laughs> For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men. Hey, Absalom was perfect. When you read about Absalom, this is the prettiest nigga you ever want to see. <laughs> that nigga woke up every day, I'm a pretty motherfucker. That nigga I'm fucking, Absalom, bitch. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga fucking combed his fro and shit. Man, that nigga was there, that nigga was singing the first of the month, Douglas Ruggins bone. <laughs> pretty motherfucker, man. And guess what happened to him? The Lord killed his fucking ass. He's a piece of shit. Go ahead. This wisdom of Solomon, chapter 9 and verse 6. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. Hey, man, you don't got the knowledge of wisdom or understanding of Yahweh Shai. You're a nobody. Right? You're a nobody. You're the, your name's not going to be remembered. As the scripture says, actually, you're going to leave your name as a curse unto the chosen man. All right? You, you're going uh, uh, to wake up to an everlasting shame and contempt, man. All right? Because you're of this world. You're not, you're, you're not, uh, you're not, uh, what, what did uh, John the Baptist say? He said, bring forth fruit, meat for repentance, man. All right? A lot of you motherfuckers ain't meat for repentance. That's just it, man. And this ain't have nothing to do with us. But we gonna make our boast in Yahweh by Shemir Ashah, my nigga. Go ahead. It's Jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23. Thus saith Yahweh, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. Yeah, you know, you know like talking all that BS, man, all that nigga mm. knowledge and stuff, all that Extra. It says, neither let the mighty man glory in his might as the brother used the examples of Michael Jordan, you know, Mike Tyson. He's rapping singers, man. It says, uh, glory in his might, let not the rich man hey. glory in his riches. Hey, anyone, Jordan, Tyson, Jackson, all right? Hey, don't glory in your riches, man. Hey, shit, speaking of Michael Jackson, he couldn't take his riches to the grave. 
His ass couldn't moonwalk his motherfucking money to the spirit world. All right? That shit died with him, man. Okay? Yo. Go ahead. Verse 24. But let him that glory of glory in this. This is what we're going to make our boast all the day long. Go ahead. That he understandeth and knoweth me. Hey, uh, uh, happy are we because the things that are pleasing of Yahweh by Shemiah Shah are made known unto us. That's why we happy. All right? That's why we happy. Otherwise, we wouldn't be happy. We'd be like you fucking people, right? right. You, you, you have no hope when it's, when, when, when the society collapses, all your oil speech says those that look out the window be darkened. Uh, everything you invested in, which is this world, yeah. is going to fucking collapse on your head. Hey, look at, uh, you know, I've been recently using those uh, two bitches, uh, Simone Biles and Mowowski or whatever, the tennis bitch. Both millionaires, right? Yeah. But depressed. Right. They can't even play, you know, uh, certain games. Here it is, this Simone Biles shit. Your games is, what, every four years? Bitch. And finally, it finally come, and what you can't play because you depressed and going through this and going through that and got mental health problems. But you a part of this world and a billionaire. I mean, a, a millionaire, man. Like what the fuck? You at, you're not happy. Not happy. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> not happy. And because of, the scripture talk about Esau, it says his ways are always grievous. See, That's why you're grieving. When the righteous are in authority, the wicked, I mean, the, uh, the, uh, people, when, the people rejoice. Okay? But when uh, when uh, when the wicked is in authority, the people mourn. mourn. So Even the, the people with the so-called money. Especially them. Right. Because they realize, oh, fuck. Because you got some damn uh, Malachite show up to your damn career letting you know, nigga, I own you. Yeah. I bought you. Yeah, man. Don't you know that I fucking spent $70 million on you? You're my slave, nigga. Now, if you don't do what the fuck I tell you, this is what's going to happen, man. And this is what ain't going to happen for you. Okay? So so they, so they're constantly grieving, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this Proverbs 30 and 8, it says, Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty no riches. And, and all this place is is vanity, man. Hey, why, hey, hey, even even King Solomon said his kingdom was vain. Right. God damn it. What the yeah. hell you think it, this is? Hey, you know why? Because it wasn't eternal. Exactly. It wasn't, you, it wasn't perfect. That's it. You ended in death. It was yes. He said, shit, what, what's good is all my life? I got to give it to a fucking... Like, that's gonna, to me, that's gonna fuck it, that's gonna fuck that's it gonna all over, over man. That's and that's exactly what the fuck happened, man. Exactly. You know? All right? So, hey, man, look, we're more, like, why, why was he mourning? Because it wasn't the, the kingdom. Right. It was a kingdom. Right. But it wasn't the kingdom. That's it. And that's what, you know, that's what the true men of the Lord long for, man. All right? Those who are truly the righteous, man. You know? That's what we're, 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 we're uh, and, and I say we're with hope. You know, and hey, the whole creation is seeking completion, man. The whole creation it says uh, the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation of the sons of the living power, starting with Yahweh Shai, which is the, the the first son, okay, the only begotten. All right, they wait for him to fucking come and bring righteousness, man. So what life can flourish right now? Uh, right now, fucking everything's struggling, man. Yeah. Death, death is prevalent, man. It, it is uh, the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah, that's why King David said, you know, arise. You know, uh, uh, help. Yeah, help, you know, Lord. Uh, Awake said, to righteousness. Right. He said, let not man prevail. All right, let not the ways of man prevail. The ways of man is death. All right, the ways of man, the creation, is just death, man. We have to go according to the ways of the creator. That's life. You still got some on there? Or yes, you, sir. Oh, go yeah, ahead. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Uh, and and uh, uh, the food, it says, feed me with food convenient for me. You see, we need food that's convenient for us, man. This pasture, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. All right? Because right now, you know, this present evil world and, and all the vanity in it, Pointlessness because you ultimately die, man. All right, now, see, we want this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding in us completely and wholly. All right, and but we know that that's not going to happen until our Lord and Savior comes, 
put a judgment on this place and then gives us those new bodies, those incorruptible bodies where the law, statutes, and commandments are going to be written in our minds and our hearts, man. All right? Uh, yes, go ahead. It says, feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and deny thee. Yes. And say, yeah, because if we have what, uh, living our best life in this world, all right, then we don't need a savior. We could deny. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scripture says, just around wax fat and kicked, man. And they lightly esteem the rock of their salvation. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you wax fat. And like, nigga, what I need the Lord for? Exactly. Nigga, I got a damn Bentley. Right. You know what I'm saying? Well, you have received your consolation, my nigga. That's you it. You gonna eat that bit. That's it. All right. Yep. Go ahead. Well, hold on. I got one. Good. Go ahead. No, he's still finishing that. Oh. Go ahead. Who is the Lord? Wait, go up a little okay. bit. Okay. Least I be fool and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? <laughs> right. Or at least I be poor and steal. And the ball right. ass nigga, man. The ball was balling, man. Right. And King David came to him. He was like, man, who is this nigga? Right. Man, fuck this nigga, man. I ain't got to get this nigga shit. Right. The Lord killed his ass and gave his wife to King David, you fucking nigga. Right. Folly you know? was yeah. his name. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but it says folly is setting great, great dignity, dignity right now. Yeah. You know? No. Uh, uh, you still have some more? I, I close it. I said, or at least I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. Right, so just is nothing, man. Just a touch of love. A little bit. A little yeah. bit. Just, just everything that you need, you know, to have your, you know, daily what you need to eat, the, 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 the food over your, uh, I mean, food on your table, roof over your head, uh, uh, clothes on your back. As long as you got that, right. hey, we rolling and learning and growing and, and heralding the coming of uh, uh, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, yeah. all while trying to, you know, build yeah. the house of David and grow ourselves, man. And hey, we just want to have a treat and stay on the go. We want to have our cup of coffee and then get, keep it pushing. That's it. You know, <laughs> my, 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 you know what I'm saying? My slap, slap an ass and keep going. That's it. All yep. right. Yep. And, and, and we and that's it, man. We, we ain't here to stay, man. This ain't it. All right, I got one. This is First Corinthians, fifteen and thirty and thirty and thirty-four. Awake to righteousness and sin not, for some have not the knowledge of Yahweh. I speak this to your shame. Hey, so we are awaken. Hey, you gotta wake to righteousness, man. Why? Hey, because not everybody has this knowledge, man. People are walking around groping in noonday, as the scripture says, man. God, Allah, you like shot. They're groping around. As a blind group within, uh, in, in, you know, as a blind, you know what I mean? Why? Because they don't have this knowledge. They don't know how to perform the righteous, the, uh, the acts of righteousness, man. That's why they, uh, scripture says they have uh, unnatural affections, man. They don't know love. And hey, we're just now learning love right now. Right. Through this word, man. Scripture says love is the keeping of, uh, uh, of the law, basically, man. So we're learning how to perform that right now, man. And we go fuck up here and there, but we desire righteousness. Right. The Lord's gonna give you what you really want, man. And you niggas, you really want the white man to rule over you, man. Right. You want death to rule over you, man. Yeah. So you love death. You sing about death. You rap about death. Yeah. Guess what? You're gonna bring death upon yourself. We're speaking life. Yeah. Like yeah. scripture says, by a man's words, uh, he shall be justified, and by his words shall he be condemned. Yeah, hey, the scriptures talk about Job 9 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? And Proverbs, it talks about how, um, uh, the, the, the Most High has made the, the, uh, the uh, all things for Himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Right. So He has made the wicked for the day of evil, but He has given the wicked over into the hands. Uh, I mean, uh, He has given the world over into the hands of the wicked. All right, and they in power right now. Right. See, but the the, the, the Bible also says that they that hold to His side. All right. They, they that hold to the wicked side and the wicked's portion, yeah. they do find it. What are they going to find? The thing that yeah, was made for him. Chosen. Because Proverbs, once again, matter of fact, somebody give me that. Proverbs 16 and 4. All right, Proverbs 16 and 4. Now keep in mind, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Whoever got it, let's go. Proverbs 16 and 4. Uh-huh. The Lord have made all things for himself. The Lord have made all things for himself. 
Yea, even the wicked he's, for the day of evil. Yea, even the wicked. He's even made the wicked. And he's made them to be the wicked and do wickedly. All right? Do contrary to righteousness. Do contrary to life. All right? So he said he's made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. The day of evil. All right? The, the, the wicked ultimately has a judgment. The day of evil. And it says that, hey, those that hold to the wicked side do find it. You're going to find the day of evil and get caught up in the day of evil. All right? And it says it's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. All right? It says that the, 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 we're out here uh, 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 preaching this word. It says through the fear of the Lord. We persuade men, all right, by letting you know the consequence of being a part of this world, man. The consequence of rolling with the wicked and the wicked's agenda, the wicked's plan, the wicked's portion, all right, what the wicked say morality is, what the wicked say righteousness is, because remember, the wicked, he going to come as a sheep. Remember, the wicked, he's going to come as uh, uh, somebody nice and uh, uh, like he's informative. He cares for you. You know, it's, you know it says that uh, they speak peaceable words. All right. But all was deceit. All right. All was deceit. So if you give this man credence and taking his stabs. All right, and, and like the elder Uriah say, his injectable fluids, all right, ultimately to get to his in, injectable devices, all right, which the Lord said, if you take that injectable device, which the wicked is going to promote as something good for you, all right, for everything to get back to some type of normality, they're going to play it as something good, all right? But the Lord said, if you take that according to Revelation uh, 13, uh, chapter 13 and Revelation chapter 14, all right, the MOTB, the mark of the understand me, you know what I'm saying? You take that, that's your alliance with the wicked. That's your agreement with the wicked and saying, yes, that, let me get that ooh, basically. I'm, I want to serve you, you know? So you getting all these injectable things, you down with the plan uh, uh, of the, the wicked. You down with the portion of the wicked. All right? And you basically saying, yes, I want to serve the wicked. All right? As opposed to trusting in Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, making your body a living sacrifice. Wait. That's why he said, wait upon me. Until the day that I rise up to the prey. We're not sitting up here trying to uh, overthrow the government. You know what I'm saying? We're not trying to overthrow what they got because we already know that they have an appointed time. A bounds that they cannot pass, but a bounds that they will reach. All right? And we can't do nothing about it. We have to roll with it. You know what I'm saying? We have to accept our punishment. Because this is the this is the place where we're being purified and perfected. So why not accept your purification process? What you got, brother? Uh, this is. Uh, oh, can I, I, can I say something yes. to add to you? Yeah. Uh, it was a movie, man. I can't remember the name of it, man. Uh, well, oh, I think it was Braveheart. Basically, uh, basically, uh, uh, they were about to kill Braveheart, but they were going to torture him before. And what they say? They said, let his purification begin. Okay? So, hey, we're getting this ass whooping. What? To purify us, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because the best cleansing agent is fire. Yeah. Man. So he said, acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. All right? We're not in physical fire. We're in the spiritual fire, which is still a part of chastening. It's a part of punishment for your moral improvement, which it says is don't seem to be joyous when you're going through the spiritual fire 
it seems to be grievous. You're suffering. But he says that the suffering of the present time cannot be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So right. we have to go through these things, man. Go ahead, brother. Uh, this is that Proverbs. I was going to stay in 16 and go down to 6 uh, to kind of precept what the elders were talking about. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Woo, see, and we have mercy right now in that, you know, the Lord just didn't outright just take us all out when that's what we deserve. Yeah. All right? Oh, so, shit. Uh, who's that? Moses, he said, shit. Uh, he said, I'm finna kill these motherfuckers, and I'm finna uh, start a whole nation from you. Right. And then Moses pleaded for us, man. Yeah. You know? He was gonna do away with that whole generation, man. Hey, read that again. So I do. Okay. No, no, no. Because it says that that's a part of us being purified, man, and perfected, and cleansed, all right? We're being cleansed, man, because we had to know good and evil, all right? And to know evil, we had to touch it and deal with it, all right? But since we touched it and dealt with it, 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 uh, uh, it, uh, it corrupted us. And so now, we have to go through that cleansing and purification process from that corruption that we dealt with and knew. All right, go ahead. Uh, this is Proverbs 16 and six. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. You see, iniquity is purged. All right, iniquity is purged, man. And of course, our Lord and Savior was that unblemished lamb, man. See, but now we're following in those footsteps and doing the same thing that he did and making our bodies a living sacrifice. All right? Paul, uh, the Apostle Paul said, man, I wish, you know, that I, I, I were a curse for my brother, my kinsman. But in a, in a, in a you know, a, a way, all right, the uh, governing body, you know, is going in those footsteps, man, of, you know, being a, that sacrifice as well, man. All right, it talks about that in, in Revelation, about that altar. All right, we're that altar, man. Oh, we, we're that sacrifice, man. All right, well, we have sacrificed. We have sacrificed our lives, man. Yeah, it talks, it's talking about men that have hazarded their lives, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, present, yeah, we, we present ourselves as a living sacrifice, man. Right. You know? And, 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 yeah, I was going to say, and that's just all praises to y'all about shooting y'all in the shot, man. For that, for the, a part of the part of that story that he wrote, he did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And because we're saying, oh, talking about how we had no righteousness to speak of, and we can't perform. Hey, look, we 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 we're, we're uh, our righteousness. Yeah, our profitable servants, man. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. So this is all about mercy, man. All right. Mercy is like that kung fu move that can't nobody fucking. You know what I'm saying? Figure out. It always works. It's like that judo chop, that fucking judo chop. That nigga, I'll surprise, he killed everybody with that dick. See, hey, look, man, because cause, cause we, what we have, we got Esau they accused of our brethren, right? Constantly accusing us day and night, as the scripture says, man. And he's right. We are fucking up. Look what they're doing. But guess what? That motherfucking, that repentance, though. Nigga, that, that, that mercy, though. Ain't nothing you can do about that, that judo chop. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's the Lord say? Hey, who, who the Lord say is righteous? Oh, what, what he said with Jeremiah? No, that was Isaiah. Uh, he put the coal on his on his mouth. He says, uh, "Can somebody get that?" Uh, when he put the coal, yeah, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing you can do about that, man. You know? Oh, or that song. When a man loves a woman. <laughs> hey, that elect lady, man. Hey, look, man, that's the one you can't talk. He said uh, she could do no wrong. He said turn his back on his best friend if he put her down. Uh, fucking uh, uh, Esau's accusing us to him. He's like, man, look, man, I'll never talk about my motherfucking wife, man. That's my woman, nigga. All right? So you're going to be trying to accuse us, and the, and the Lord going to turn that shit on your own head, as the scripture says. Uh, everybody got that? Go yeah. ahead. <coughs> I oh, it's the scripture says, you rendered me a record piece? Uh, record 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 piece. Piece. <laughs> if you rendered me a record piece, yeah. if you rendered my recipe, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wicked ass recipe. Isaiah 6, I'm going to start at uh, 5. <laughs> then said, I woke, woke me, for I 
am undone because I am a man of unclean lips. Hey, hey, oh, oh what, what did the man tell you how it shot? Yeah, how it shot said, you know, basically I'm going to come in, I'm going to heal your, uh, heal your servant. He was like, no, nah, man, no, nah, just say the words, man. I'm unclean, man. I'm not worthy to stand in your presence, man. Because he felt that, man. You know? In the minute, Lord, we feel that every fucking day, man. We feel fucking dirty, man. Like a damn, a, 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 a woman to tell you after she been fucking raped or molested, they, they don't fucking sit in the shower for hours trying to get that feeling of uncleanness uh, uh, off of them, man. That's how we fucking feel, man. Go ahead. The Lord don't need us, man. man. Exactly. Don't need us, man. Yeah. Uh, he said, I woe. Woe is me. For I am unclean because I am a man of unclean lips. Yeah. And I have dwelt in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. He read. Then flew one of the seraphims uh, unto me, having a live coal in his hand. So an angel visited him. Cleansing angel. Okay. Right. Just like all of us. We didn't wake ourselves up. There was a messenger sent to each and every one of us and said, and the Lord said, now's the time. Wake those up. And, and, and that was through divine power, man. Divine power. All right? That's why it says that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. And it is the power of God that he did that, man. All right? He uh, 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 cultivated his, his uh, uh, jewels. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's just when I begin to make up my jewel. Mm -hmm. okay. Having a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with the tongs from off the altar. And he laid it upon my, my mouth and said, Lo, this, this has touched thy lips, and thy iniquity is taken away, and thy sin is purged. Mm, man. Mm. Hey, and they got mad. They got mad at you, Howard Shop, for saying that shit. Man. Okay? Because basically, when he healed you, he said, go that way and sin no more. He said, your sins are forgiven. And they were like, what the fuck? Right. You ain't the most high, nigga. You can't, you can't forgive sins. Okay? And the Lord said, all judgment has been, uh, uh, you know what I'm talking about? He said, all judgment has been basically given over to my son. That's what the, uh, man, I, I don't know how it's worded. But uh, that's what it is, man. So when he says that, Oh, and then he gave that power to the apostles and then sent them out into the world. Or what or whatever you uh imputed on earth shall be uh in heaven. Yeah, and somebody get that too, man. Alright? So the men of the Lord, guess what? Precedes them. Judgment. Uh what it says, uh uh Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied against great kingdoms and many countries of war, evil, and pestilence. Meaning they came with judgment, man. What, why do you think they uh, reacted to Samuel when he showed up like that, man? They said, damn, comest thou peaceably? What's your judgment, basically, on us? And he said, peaceably, which was a rare event. <laughs> Go ahead. Matthew chapter, it's Matthew 28 and 18. And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Yeah. All power is given unto uh, uh, unto his son, man. Guess what? Yahweh himself didn't, for you fucking Old Testament Israelites, Yahweh himself didn't get off the throne to create anything. Only thing he created was his son. That was it. That's all he had to do. What the scripture says, I am a great king, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. King don't get off his throne. He give out orders, man. Another He's a shot caller. Go ahead. John John 5 and 22, uh, for the Father judges no man, but but has committed all judgment uh, unto the Son. There you go, man. That's it. So that, that's why that's that rock that, that the builders refused, man. Okay? Well, he said he came unto his own, and his own uh, uh, received him not, man. Okay? You uh, you rejected the council. What happened to the kings in the scriptures, man, when they rejected, rejected the council of the Lord? They got fucked up. They went into battle and got killed. Okay? They had fucking kings. One of them had uh, a king fucking make all his sons eunuchs and pluck his fucking eyeballs out, man. Okay? That's what happens when you shit like that, man. When you we don't listen to what the Lord says, man. We don't listen to his prophets, man. You basically rejecting the counsel of the Lord, man. This is what he does when he rejects the counsel of the Lord. Back in that Isaiah 6 and 8. Also, I heard 
voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, here I am, send me. Verse nine. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but receive not. Now through the scriptures, you see the most high God. Romans 11 and 25, I believe, says uh, Israel's blind in the park. All through the scriptures, man. He has stripped us down, man, the name. The knowledge, everything. My people are uh, uh, destroyed by the lack of knowledge, man. Yeah. All through, man. Why? Because we are disobedient. Why is Blake Perry? Hey, uh, rebellious. Yeah. Then it, it, it was Psalm that said, in their captivity, they shall return from their stiff neck. Because at one point, we all had that stiff neck, man. You know? Remnant. But the remnant, the elect, is returning from that stiff neck, man. All right? And accepting the will of the Father and reverting to the power, yeah. all right? Reverting to the spirit, all right? As opposed to the flesh and your own thoughts and minds and opinions or the thoughts and the mind and opinions of another man. Yeah. And there you go, there you have it, man. Yeah. Well, who got the script I called for? Uh, uh, get a uh, right there. Okay, because we're seeking what we're looking at. What we're looking into, man. Look, man, y'all can have this, man. All right, this ain't it. All right, the scriptures talk about our forefather Abraham. He had respect onto the uh, recompense of reward. Yeah, onto that, onto that. Yeah, he had respect. Why? He was looking to the kingdom. King Solomon was looking to the kingdom. You know, now he enjoyed himself. He had a little fun. He had a lot of fun, actually. He had a lot of women. He had a lot of fun. All right? <laughs> you know? But he still was looking to the kingdom. Like, fuck this, man. Fuck these bitches wicked. He's, <laughs> he, that was the breakdown. These bitches wicked and fuck this place. And my son's an idiot. <laughs> Go ahead. This, this, Romans, <laughs> this is Romans chapter 5 and verse 21. It says, That as sin have reigned unto death, even so my grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Yahweh Shammashiach, our Lord. So now it's time for sin to reign. Everything in time. It says in Ecclesiastes, there's a time for everything, man. You know? But guess what? There's a time for everything. Right. That's the point. Yep. With the kingdom we're coming into, you can't, you can't number eternity. There's no time. Okay? There's no number for eternity. Well, if there is, then Lord knows it. We don't. Okay? Okay? But everything has a time. A time limit. Uh -huh. Okay? The kingdom that we're coming into is eternal, man. There is no, there is no time for that. Go ahead. Right. There, there, there's no time limit on perfection. Yeah. There's no time limit on righteousness. Your righteousness is up. Right, right, right. You know? Right. Time to go back to fucking slavery. Right, and some wicked nah. <laughs> some nah. people might just come out like, yeah. Right. Thank God. Your break's over. Hey. <laughs> and, 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 that's, out here, man. and that's the perfect balance. You know? Wickedness had its time. All right? That's it. And it established the good of righteousness. All right? And then once that's established, that's all we need now is the good. In the righteous kingdom, we don't need no uh, evil. All right, we don't need wickedness. A people that is made to just do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you ain't need it. We, we, righteousness, life uh, is gonna not, be prevalent. Not gonna, not gonna, not gonna work here. Not gonna work here anymore. At least, uh, yeah, at least uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> fire all you Whatever, right? Whatever, hey, uh, yeah, liquidated. At least you know that. <laughs> yeah. You know, may not know how to pronounce it. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. Not gonna work here. Anymore. You finna get fired, literally. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, uh, you're fired. <laughs> Your ass finna get burned up, man. All wickedness, man. The fashion of this world passes away, man. Yeah. Hey, that's what I say. The truth always rises to the top. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Supreme, yeah. And it's gonna reign supreme. The cream gonna reign supreme. Yep, forever, man. Yeah. Forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, and that's why it says, "Hey, hey, when you are uh, uh, rulership, you." It says, "The saints shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and forever." And why not? Why not? There's nothing wrong. Right. You know? It's perfect. 
If it's nothing wrong, you don't change perfection. Hey, but Esau gonna be looking on and looking at, at our kingdom. He gonna be pissed off, man. He gonna be mad as fuck and can't do nothing about it. No. He gonna wanna be gay. He gonna wanna fucking <laughs> bring in feminism. Okay? He gonna wanna do all this shit and it ain't gonna happen. Right. It's gonna be all in your head and you're gonna get your ass whooped for even thinking. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah. Oh, keep reading. What is that? No, that was all right, well, yeah, that's it, man. So righteous, oh, you got, oh, you read the part, read that part of right? This is Romans chapter 5 and verse 21, that as sin have reigned unto death, even so my grace reigned through righteousness unto eternal life by Yahweh Shah Mashiach our Lord. There's another one in the Apocalypse that says, uh, righteousness is eternal. Uh, yeah, it's might get there. All right. Because look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, goddammit. This whole earth is fucking broken right now. The Lord's coming to fix it, man. Peter said the physician cut it off a long disease, man. That cancer's about to be taken out. Okay? You know? This earth is fucking polluted, man. It needs to, it need, and it's crying out. We're not just crying. The scripture says the fir tree's going to rejoice, man. All right? That's Isaiah the 14th chapter, man. The tree's going to rejoice, man. I'm looking at this damn pitiful ass tree, man. You call that a tree? <laughs> you call that a tree? <laughs> You call that a knife? This is the knife. <laughs> right? The Lord gonna show you a kingdom, man. You call that a kingdom? This is a kingdom. Right. Alright? You call this a kingdom, a goddamn Ford? <laughs> Admit, uh, driving in a fucking Ford. This guy been to the moon, man. He can't even keep a pump on the car, man. He can't even get his dick hard without fucking uh, Viagra, man. He can't get reception from here. That shit might only work no more. He can't get reception from here to New York, but he can get reception from the moon. Right? They call Stephen Hawkins. The most lip dick nigga on earth. The motherfucker. That's what they call the wise man. If you was wise, you would have fucking rolled that goddamn stroller you was in into the goddamn uncommon traffic, man. It's over. Fuck, fuck this shit. shit I, that would be me. She was thick as hell. I can't even hit that. I'd have been going straight to the freeway. <laughs> freeway, what? Oh, it's that song with Patti LaBelle. Freeway? The Freeway? It's a song called, I don't know if that's Patti LaBelle. The Freeway, you know what I'm talking about? Right on the freeway. That would be me out of it. I would, hey, I'd have a little boom box in my lap. And just, <laughs> going straight to kill myself. Oh, He's a wise man. Hey, it's gonna say there's wisdom in it. Hey, there's wisdom no more in teaming, man. This is your wise guy. <laughs> how, you know, how you know he ain't tried already and death flee him? No, oh, they, they, yeah. shut, they shut off his machine. They, 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 they like, no, nah, he's trying to do it again. Turn it off. <laughs> he's like, fuck you. <laughs> that nigga was like right at the freeway and shit. Fuck. <laughs> Go ahead. Hey, let's talk about death flee. <laughs> death flee that nigga. He's like, he's trying to do it again. Yeah, right. He's the red button on this nigga. Go ahead, bring it out, man. Uh, uh, oh, wait. With the psalmist, chapter 1 and verse 14, for he created all things that they might have their being. Right, so a squirrel could be a squirrel. <laughs> so a bird could be a bird. And a hamster could be a hamster. You trying to, the scriptures talk about uh, diverse seeds, mixing diverse seeds. You're not supposed to do no shit like that, man. What's this nigga doing? You eat an apple, it's half fucking sea fish. It's got human DNA. The apple could damn near talk to you. <laughs> you hear well, voice and shit in the corner. Hey. Like, what the fuck? All you see is the apple and shit. It tastes like bubble gum and shit. Hey, buddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Roll off the table and shit. Roll down the fucking hallway and shit. <laughs> Go ahead, man. Hey, but hey, because 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 guess what? Oh, uh, uh, this dude is a fucking mad scientist, man. He's mixing every fucking thing, man. That's why uh, uh, it's called Babylon the Great. Babylon, Babel, uh, 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 means confusion, man. Or you look it up, it means with mixing. Okay? All right, which is something we're not supposed to do. Go ahead. It says, and the generations of the world were helpful. Helpful. That means when you ate something, it gave you health. All right? When you breathe, it gave you uh, oxygen, motherfucker. It didn't give you uh, CO2. They didn't give you goddamn barium oxide, okay? All the shit you spraying in the fucking chemtrails, man. It was air. Water was water. Goyles was goyles and mince was men. You know? 
Hey, even Archie Bumpkin was crying about the shit, man. You know? How you doing? Uh -huh. Oh, we're singing. We're singing it right As a matter of fact, uh, hit me uh, 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 Ezekiel 33 and uh, 30. Yeah, we, we, we're singing right now. This, this is Ezekiel. matter of fact, uh, somebody give me, uh, uh, before you hit that, uh, Revelation 14. Go ahead. The book of Revelation, chapter 14, verse 1. Uh huh. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion. And with them the hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their forehead. Uh -huh. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harp. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song, but the hundred and forty and four thousand which will be from the earth. You see that? No one can learn that song. All right? So we're singing this song right now. All right? And this is a, the, the new song to refresh wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the true interpretation, the one understanding of this Bible in truth. It is that we, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. All right? And we're, matter of fact, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, Watch this. Go ahead. It reads, and thou art an heart and holy people unto the Lord thy God. So it says, thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. It's talking about a specific people on the planet earth. Go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see, above, it says that the Lord... Read it one more time. For, for thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. A holy people, a separate people. You're separate, different from all other nations. All right, go ahead. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a, be a special people unto himself. To be a special people unto himself. The Lord thy God has chosen this particular people to be a special people unto himself. Go ahead. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right. Why are we above all people on the face of the earth? Because of the ways that was given to us. Matter of fact, give me uh, Psalms 147 and 19. All right. Because we have the ways of righteousness, the ways of life that was given exclusively to us. Go ahead. Read. Psalms 147 and 19. Uh-huh. He showeth his word unto Jacob. He showeth his word unto Jacob. The words in this Bible. All right. The word of God, which is this truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Go ahead. And his and his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Uh-huh. He has not dealt so with any nation. See, he have not dealt so with any nation. So we, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, was given this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. This was the way, the way of righteousness, the way of life, all right, that was given exclusively to us, okay? And here it is right now, we are to rehearse this, all right, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. To ultimately have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding written in our minds and our hearts. All right, in, the, in the, the coming kingdom, the eternal kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be right here on the planet Earth. You got any questions? Well, I Uh huh. Okay, well, first... Judas and Negroes. Right. Let's start with that one. Yep, first, let me get Amos 3 and 7. This is Amos chapter 3 and verse 7. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. It says, surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealed his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So right off the rip, the prophets are the ones that has this understanding of the breakdown 
of this Bible in truth and how everything is equated to how you what you're looking at right now. Um, let me get Romans chapter uh, 8 verse 16. Okay. This Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Uh-huh. The spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of God. Okay, so the spirit itself. We, 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 the Israelites. Yeah, the, the chosen children of the Most High God. The special people that we read about in Deuteronomy 7 and 6. So it says that the spirit itself, all right, beareth witness with our spirits. So the spirit, the truth itself, history itself, beareth witness with our spirit, with our spirit, the Israelite spirit, that we are the children of God. Because, matter of fact, uh, where is it in Deuteronomy 28 where it talks about this? We'll get signed to it as well. Yep. So, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse uh, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. So, all these curses of Deuteronomy 28, verse 16 down to 68, it says it's going to come upon these Israelites. Go ahead. And shall pursue thee. And pursue thee. And overtake thee. And overtake thee. Till thou be destroyed. Uh huh. Till thou be destroyed. Till thou hurt me. Not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't obey our God when we got out of captivity, ancient, uh, cap ancient Egyptian captivity. We went in the wilderness with Moses, all right? And then we were on our way to the promised land, our land, Israel, the Israelites, right? He said, when you get to your land, I'm going to give you a way. Laws, statutes, and commandments that no other people has but you. This is the way that you live exclusively and when we got there to our land we didn't listen we didn't obey and so he said since you didn't listen since you didn't obey now all these curses are going to come upon thee matter of fact read verse uh one real quick it's deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse one uh-huh it says and it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the lord thy god uh -huh. to observe and to do all his commandments uh -huh. which i command thee this day right that the Lord thy God will set you on high above all nations of right. the earth. Now, that was if we listened. That was if we obeyed, all these blessings was going to come upon us. But hit verse 15. Verse 15. Watch but this. It, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice. So if you will not hearken unto the voice, this Go ahead. Of, of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I commanded thee this day uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the people of Israel who left ancient Egypt via Moses crossed the, the Red Sea all right, on dry land and then went into the wilderness for 40 years then went over into the promised land. That people is so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who consist of the 12 tribes of Israel. And then, uh, here's part of the curses. Now go back to uh, 45. This is one of the curses. Read. It's Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. Uh-huh. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. So all these curses from Deuteronomy verse uh, 16, chapter 28, Verse 16 all the way to 68, curses was going to overtake us, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Read. They shall pursue thee. Uh, pursue thee. These curses is going to pursue us. And overtake thee. Overtake us. Till thou be destroyed. Till we be destroyed. Look at our people today. Go ahead. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Because we didn't obey. Go to ahead. keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. Yes, the ways of righteousness, the ways of life. Read. Verse 40. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. They, oh, so the curses is going to be upon thee for a sign. When you want to know, like you, you, you see, like well, man, show me a sign, Lord, if this is what this is or this is what that is. Here is a sign of the curses of Deuteronomy 28, 16 down to 68. This is a sign that we, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, we are the chosen children of the Most High God. We are the Israelites, the Bible speak of. Go ahead. Verse 46, it says, And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Upon thy seed forever. Even unto this day. These curses that we're under is a sign that we are the Israelites. 
Go to verse 62. Go to verse 62. Are we still under that curse? Yeah. We are. Yes, we're still under these curses to this very day. That's why we're still here thinking that we're so called what uh, I'm pretty sure in your time you've heard them call us. We were colored before, we were niggers before, we were Negroes before, we were black before, we were African American before. All these different things when that's not our true nationality at all. Our true nationality, our true heritage, who we truly are, are the Hebrew Israelites of the Bible. See, people think that that's a religion that you go and choose. Like, I'll have one of our people walk up and say, oh man, my cousin a Hebrew Israelite. Thinking that that's a religion to choose, when that's a nationality that we simply are. One last question. Yeah. All of these people are the chosen ones. Uh-huh. Are they the people who are not on that list? Who are they? The other side. The Hebrew people. So now, right now, let's get uh, Second Edges chapter uh, six, verse fifty-three. The Second Edges chapter six and verse fifty-three. Uh huh. It says, "Upon the sixth day, thou gavest commandment unto the earth that before it shall bring forth beasts, cattle, and creeping things." Uh huh. Verse fifty-four. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest lord of all thy creatures, uh huh. Of him come we all. Of him, of Adam, come we all. And the people also who God has told It says, of him come we all and. So of Adam come all the people on the earth today. Of him, of Adam, come we all. And then it says, and. So you have all these people that stem ultimately from Adam. Now it says, and. Well, who else stem from Adam? It says, and the people also who thou has chosen. Oh. And the people also whom thou hast chosen also stem from Adam. Right? Let's keep going. Verse 55. Uh -huh. It says, All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, uh -huh. because thou madest the world for our sake. He made the world for the sake of the chosen people. Let's keep going. Verse 56. As for the other people. As for the other people. Which also come of Adam. Which also came from Adam. Thou hast said that they are nothing. They are what? They are nothing. In comparison unto the special chosen children, all other nations outside of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are nothing. Let's keep reading. But be like unto spittle. Be like unto spittle. Spit. Nothing. Let's go. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drug that falleth from a vessel. Uh-huh. And now, O oh Lord, behold... These heathen, these heathen Gentile nations, which have ever been reputed as nothing, which most high God, you said, compares to us Israelites, the chosen children, these other nations are nothing but, have begun to be lords over us. But now these heathen nations, who are nothing, have begun to be lords over us. The Israelites, the special chosen people, read, and to devour us. And to devour us, the chosen people, Verse 58, but we, thy people, but we, your special chosen people, the Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, whom thou hast called thy firstborn, who is thou hast called thy firstborn, thy only begotten, thy only begotten nation, and thy fervent lover, and thy fervent lover, are given into their hands, are given into their hands. Verse 59, if the world now be made for our sake, but if the world be made for our sake, why do we not possess an inheritance with Why the world? Why don't we possess an inheritance with the world? Because we're giving over into their hands. We're in subjection to them. We're listening to all their gods that they just made up with their minds. We're listening to all their ways that they live, which ultimately ends in death. And we're listening to some other nations that we've been scattered to because of curses that we had to go through because of our disobedience. Let's go back to Deuteronomy 28 and 68 but let's refinish that up it says how long shall this endure 